Yes, uh, we're, you guys come in hitting 378, so you've been be able to put the ball in play. But to score three runs in the first inning without a hit, without a ball in the infield, I mean, obviously you guys can create some offense too. Yeah, you know, and uh, we have uh, some pretty decent team speed. We have good, uh, smart base runners. Uh, they gave us a, 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 a nice... Uh, gift there when they threw the ball in the double play uh, into right field so um, partially it wasn't uh, our doing um, we, you know and sometimes I think we walked early and I think we got a little lethargic up at the plate but uh, I guess we kind of took what we uh, what they gave us. So at the top of the order you get Harmon on th uh, three times with walks and then you get your freshman with a couple of doubles uh, yeah. you know, about current performance too. Yeah it's nice to see him swinging the bat. We uh, we knew coming into the season that uh, we liked him a lot from what we had saw him play at his uh, you know seventh and eighth grade levels and um, so we brought him up and threw him to the Wolves right away and started out a little slow but uh, we we knew if we stayed the course he would uh, he would uh, be a good hitter for us and he's uh, really starting to turn it on. And how about Morrow's performance today? Just another solid uh, start for your uh, your staff. Yeah, it really was. Uh, you know, he uh, he um, battled and uh, he was able to uh, get ahead early, get a couple outs, and they'd get a hit. But you know, he was getting the uh, the the leadoff hitter out uh, out right away, so that seemed to help him quite a bit. And uh, he was able to keep the ball low. Um, when he gets it up, he'll get hit once in a while. But today, he was able to keep the ball down at the knees and. Um, and, and Zach Fairchild did a very good job too, catching and calling all the pitches, and yeah, made a couple of plays on the um, on the foul ticks on the on the third strike, and so those were also awfully big. But uh, yeah, Logan did a nice job. Didn't panic. They had a little bit of a rally there with bases loaded, and uh, he's worked his way out of that. And so yeah, very happy with the way he threw. Still best inning. You get a five run. Uh... Fifth, he comes back and I think five pitches gets you out of it. Uh, yeah. That's the mark of a good pitcher. Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, he's had no varsity experience. And uh, now he's he's starting, I think, feel very comfortable up there. And, and that's what it takes is for these guys to, uh, to uh, um, you know, be able to uh, survive those first couple uh, times out. And then now they feel like they're just out there pitching and they're not, you know, in – of you know being on varsity in the big eight and stuff like that still so big win a team one of the teams that was just a couple games behind you in second uh i mean to be able to get this one in after the rain yesterday and to be able to play here uh, how big how big a game was that for you yeah you know, we thought it was a very big game you know they uh had uh, a lot of uh, uh good things happening on uh for them this year you know they uh, started the season out really well and we knew that they were going to come in and uh, this is probably a big game on their calendar as, as well as ours so it was really nice to like it said get those three runs early and so when we can walk out of here and, and get that win against them and uh, look forward to verona tomorrow we're very happy to be uh seven and zero and nine and zero overall yeah thanks a lot coach you bet thank you